So there's loads of opportunities in the sector. The sector is due to grow massively. We're looking at uh, 1,000 graduates per year required and also around 600 technicians per year required. And they'll be in key, um, key areas. So we've got our contract research organisations that will continue to recruit medical technologies as a, as a key subsector. One of the exciting areas is in gene and cell therapy. This is now not looking at sort of tackling to manage diseases, but this is actually now looking at curing diseases. Also personalised medicine. So we're now looking at um, not going to doctors and getting a, a pill and then coming back in two weeks time to see whether it's worked, but you'll be able to sort of mark your genes to know whether that medicine will be right for you. You've got industrial biotechnology, and this is all around the circular economy and the bioeconomy. So we've got companies like uh, Cellucomp out in Fife who are taking carrots and beetroot, extracting um, the cellulose from that and converting that into a more robust paint and then on to the manufacturing. So we'll see a lot of uh, process operation type jobs, um, but with a scientific background. But I see really one of the key growth areas being in uh, manufacturing and biomanufacturing in particular, where people are making cells in, in large volumes.